Hey guys, it's Stonax Sapling here, back at it again with another video today. I'm gonna be teaching you how I make my own thumbnails, such as the thumbnail that you clicked on to see this video. I use Photoshop to make them, so obviously you're gonna need Photoshop to uh, make thumbnails like me. Anyway, let's get right into it. First thing I do is I launch Minecraft. I'm not gonna play in full screen, because I'm recording my entire desktop. So the reason why I have Minecraft open, obviously I don't use Minecraft to make my thumbnails. What I normally do is use the Badline Integrated Replay Play mod, you can find it like here. By default, the key to start recording is P. If I press P right now, you can see it's recording. Usually what I'll do is I'll go into a Sky Wars game or something like that. Obviously it depends on the video and just replay it. So for example, my last video was a Sky Wars video. I went into Sky Wars and then replayed that. Let's just say I wanted to replay this lobby for some reason. So I'm running around here, you know, sort of like what I did for the uh, 20 more Sky Wars tips video. You can see this in the Sky Wars lobby. I'm going to disconnect and go into replay viewer on the title screen and here are all the replays the most recent one will be at the top and so here we are you can press f1 to hide like the little control thing up here and there's me running around let's just say i wanted to do it over here okay so this is this is gonna be like my thumbnail now what i have to do is full screen it i don't know if you guys can see it or not hopefully you guys can and then press F2 to take a screenshot. And that's all I need to do in Minecraft. We can quit Minecraft now. And now I open Photoshop, the holy shop of the photo, as some would call it. Making Minecraft thumbnails is actually really easy, assuming you have Photoshop. As you can see, Photoshop has all like the recently edited things, like when I'm in my texture pack, it has all this. And then I use this for the uh, for the UHC experience thumbnail. Anyway, go to create new, and then you'll want to change this to 1280 as I have here, um, 720. RGB color 300 res you know what you guys can read I don't have to explain this to you just copy these settings okay now what you want to do is go to file explorer then find screenshots and here is the screenshot that I just took Voila. Okay, so now we actually have to make the thumbnail. Normally, I will alter between previewing it from here and up close because most of the time you're going to see a thumbnail from like far away. I want to make sure you can see everything, so I just hold shift and then expand it, maybe like this, and then you press enter, and then that's the positioning. Now, here's like the only hard part, in my opinion. Zoom in a little bit and use this tool, polygonal lasso tool. This is basically a sketcher select kind of thing, so I can just click here. It'll make a point, and then make another point here, and make a bunch of points to outline your Minecraft character. So one here, one here. It does not have to be pixel perfect at all. That would take like years, but just connect the dots until you fully outline the character like this. It's a lot easier when the character is not holding any item. Like if the character is holding a sword, it's very difficult because you have to outline every single pixel on the sword, which can be pretty tedious. Anyway, we're already almost done here. There we go. Okay. So now, once you connect them, just press Control J. Make sure you have like the screenshot selected. So now if you hide the original screenshot, you have the character. Right click the new layer and go to blending options. And this is the most preference part of the entire process. I usually use inner glow with V setting right here. This just makes the character pop out. And then I use a gradient overlay, which basically darkens the bottom half of the character. Here are those settings if you want. I also do a drop shadow. It's a very slight difference from far away, but up close you can really tell it's there. With all these settings on, you can kind of see the mess ups here, especially right here. There are a few solutions to this, but what I do is I use a stroke with these settings. What this does is put like a layer of black pixels going into the character. So like this part right here, if I turn stroke on, it just kind of becomes black, which is a lot less noticeable. That's what I use. That's what I do in terms of blending options. As you can see from back here, it looks so much different from just nothing. The next thing I do is select the original screenshot and go to filter, blur, and then radial blur. You can pick between zoom and spin. I normally use spin, best quality, obviously. I usually do like seven or eight, but I'm gonna use nine this time. I don't know why. And then click okay, and then you'll see this little spin effect. There we go. So this is like the basis of all my thumbnails. Sometimes I'll add like text or maybe items under the character. For text, I always do white text or some bright color. Anything that works well with dry shadow. So for white, let's say I just, I don't know, this is a thumbnail. I'm gonna make that white. And on its own, it doesn't seem that stand out. Like you can barely read it from here just because it's so like muddled in with the picture. What I do is go to blending options and add drop shadow. Night and day difference right there. The other things I mentioned before don't really do anything. And never use stroke on text. I'm gonna make this a bit bigger, maybe like that. 
There we go. That's how I do my text part of it. And last but not least, sometimes I'll put like a menu or like, I don't know, an enchantment or something behind the character. So for example, if I go back to my video with King Flip, where is it? Here it is. As you can see, all you gotta do is just crop it. What I do to make this look like this is add all the settings that I did to the character. What I do to make this look like this is add all the settings that I do to the character. So if I have this in here, as you can probably tell, this is the thumbnail of the video you're watching right now. For instance, if I want this here, maybe like this, there we go. And then I'll move the text up here, blending options, add all the settings, except for stroke. And yeah, that looks pretty good. And that's how I make my Minecraft thumbnails. Finally, people can stop asking me. <laughs> Thank you.